Costin, you and uh, Vitaly and Alex uh, gave a presentation today about the Red October malware campaign and some of the research that you guys did. And you revealed a couple of new details that nobody has talked about before. Um, what were those details and, and why do you think they're so important? So today we um, introduced two previously unknown facts about Red October. The first one is about the um, origin of the sample. And a lot of people have uh, speculated about the source of uh, the Red October samples. And we, pre we previously said that uh, this was a, a partner which re wishes to remain anonymous, which unfortunately this led to a lot of speculation about it. Some people said it was uh, the Russian government, other, other people said like, you know, it was the American government or the North Korean government or the Pope or his friends <laughs> and um, uh, we spoke to the uh, partner and we asked for his opinion he uh, allowed us to disclose uh, some information about it so today we announced that uh, the sample originates from one of our clients um, and this client uh, was based in a country in the European Union uh, so this uh, should uh, clarify some of the issues around Red October. The other uh, talking point uh, from today was uh, that we uh, managed to get in the possession of some additional information about uh, the fact that the attackers were Russian speaking and we previously we presented some facts such as uh, for instance uh, the Russian slang uh, Zaklatka which exists in the malware body which is uh, let's say a good indication and there were some others such as the usage of the word proga which is a Russian slang for program um, so today we uh, presented like a more solid uh, proof in this aspect, which is a, uh, a snippets of a discussion between the Red October attackers and one of the registers. So all the uh, all the exchanges in uh, native Russian, and they're complaining to the uh, register that the uh, privacy protect is not working and their <laughs> information is publicly visible. And uh, they seem to be quite uh, desperate about it as they're sending uh, three emails about this subject uh, at like a very pe uh, short period of times between themselves. So uh, in addition to the other details about Red October, these are the uh, main uh, points of uh, our Red October hunt uh, from a security analyst summit in 2013. So in your mind, you're pretty certain that this is of Russian origin, just from those clues that you guys have found? Uh, Russian speaking is the best uh, is the best point here, I would say, because they could also be in one of the countries such as uh, Ukraine or Belarus or Kazakhstan, where Russian is spoken natively. So it could be any of these countries, of course. Uh, there is... Uh, uh, an important point uh, to mention here is that there's quite a lot of victims in Russia itself. Um, uh, I, if I remember correctly, Russia is the uh, most attacked country in the list. But um, of course, uh, this doesn't mean anything. So we don't know for sure who is behind the operation. And to be honest, we're not tracking this actively. We don't uh, think that uh, it's our job to do attribution. It's something for law enforcement, of course. But one thing that we are quite sure here is that the uh, Russian October attackers do speak, uh, uh, the Red October attackers, sorry about that, do speak Russian language natively. All right, Kostin, thank you very much.